Hi all my friends. I want to give an update on what's going on with the van, okay? And uh, But first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who came in and uh, commented and I have read the comments. I was hoping to get to some comments today, but it's just not going to happen. <laughs> I have so much going on. But um, but I just thank everyone. I'm I'm learning so much about the American cars, or just about how the the engines run and everything all over again, or refreshing my memory. Um, I have worked on cars when I was in my twenties. Um, I had a Chevy Love, and I learned how to do oil changes, and I used to lube it, and you know. Um, there was some basic stuff that I have done. I put an alternator in once, believe it or not. And uh, I was always like a little tomboy when I was growing up. And um, and even though as I grew up and, you know, became, you know, girlish a little bit, um, more like a lady, but I still have this inner tomboy in me too. So I've, I've ridden dirt bikes. Um, I had a quad, I've rode out in the desert all the time, very outdoorsy all the time, a camper. I'm okay about getting dirty or doing things like that. And I've had horses um, when I was younger, so I, you know, a Shetland pony actually in a Welsh and I, I uh, did Jim Canna horse shows. So I, you know, I'm very much a very outdoors person even though I'm, I'm girlish too. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm, I look, I look, you know, girly on the outside, but I, honestly, I'm very tough. <laughs> you know, I'm very tough in, um, yeah, just what I can go through in, in life. And I always try to endure things with grace but I can endure quite a bit, okay? So keep that in mind um, as you follow me in my channel, <laughs> okay? Um, so one of the things that uh, was brought up, uh, I want you to know that I will never e-bag, okay? Whenever I ask for advice, it's never to get money. Will I ever give any information out for that to ever happen? that's just me that's just my personality um, everybody has to follow their own heart or what they're comfortable doing um, I don't know maybe it's a pride thing I don't know but I'm not saying and I'm not going to get into the controversy over whether e-begging is right or wrong you know um, I just, uh, yeah, I feel there's times that we should help people, you know, that are really in need, you know, at times. Um, but, but I don't think there should ever be a point where we should be supporting people long term. I think it's meant to be to help people, maybe if they need help. Uh, for a period of time to get on their feet, but people need to be making uh, some kind of steps to get on their feet and be independently, um, you know, stable to support themselves some kind of way, okay? That's just my feeling on it, but I have helped people. I'm all for people helping people, um, again, under those are those conditions that I believe in, but I personally would never uh, e-bag unless, I mean, if it ever came to it would be like, I mean, absolutely one time I might need help in that situation would be okay, but never for long-term support, but I am not there. I am okay. Um, I've worked my whole life and um, so, and I'm doing fine. <laughs> okay. Now, I also am not going to be the kind of person that's going to um, judge someone who feels that they want to support someone long term. You have to follow your own conscience and your own heart, you know, but I don't think, again, that it, people should support people's lifestyle. <laughs> um, 
again, it's you have to be able to financially support yourself in whatever lifestyle that you choose. And I don't believe people should support people, you know, long term into a type of lifestyle. Again, it's different than helping somebody who's in need, you know. Uh, for instance, example would be maybe there's a woman and, you know, she's got some little babies, you know, and, and then her husband died or, you know, um, maybe the husband left her or abandoned her, or, you know, or just, just an example. And, uh, and now she's got to get back on her feet. And then maybe there's someone out there who needs some help and to get going and people donate money and clothes and food and, you know, or, or one time I had a fire when I was a kid and uh, we lost everything just about our clothes were smoke damaged and just, you know, nasty and, and we just from the smoke damage is absolutely horrible through a fire, even though they got most of the fire out, it was just it burned for a while and so things were just horrible and people came in and they helped us and they brought us clothes and they helped us to get started again you know and and then and then we move forward after that incident so those are the situations that you know what I'm saying that I feel are definitely what we should be doing but nobody came in and supported us long term. My dad had a job. He, you know, got back on his feet. But it was just a blow, you know, because we, we did live check to check at that time. And so, you know, we, it was difficult times. And, uh, but after that, we got back on our feet. And it was just a, a one-time help. And it was what we needed to get back on our feet. So that's kind of my take on it. I hope I don't go too long on this. But really think about this, everybody. Really think about it, you know. But also, you have to follow your heart, okay? All right, now back on my van. So on my van, what it is is they um, they are thinking, you know, they will check the uh, catalytic converter. Uh, they're thinking maybe it's definitely not the transmission, so he's assuring me that it is okay to, to drive it. But they can't work on it for a while, so I'm looking at maybe um, at the end of the week. So since that happened, I thought, well, I want to go on this trip. Uh, that there's a small gathering at the coast, and I'd really like to do that. And so they assured me that it would do, it would make it, it would be fine. Okay. The good news is, is I have a uh, subscriber that has reached out to me, and uh, she goes by Gigi on the, you know, YouTube and stuff, but she has a different personal name. And, uh, but, you know, I'm not going to give that out. Uh, but anyway, so she is going to convoy with me down to this event. So I can't be, you know, more appreciative of her doing this and reaching out to me. And I'm just, yeah, this is just amazing. So I have walkie-talkie, so that will help as we communicate going down. And I'm so excited to be able to go to this event and just gonna baby the van and, and just you know get it down there but again they did assure me that everything would be fine with that um, the other thing is there was a question um, wondering if my van was uh, diesel or gas it's gas it is a 98 Dodge Ram Explorer with a 3500 engine okay or they go by 3500 sorry when you're getting things for it okay so anyways i've had american cars or trucks actually uh for the last 20 years and honestly i have been trouble free for 20 years with those japanese engines i traded my truck in my last one that i had for 11 years uh, my toyota and um, it had 110,000 miles and never had any issues of the other one before that. So I do have to, 
you know, get familiar again with engines, obviously with Americans, uh, engines, nothing against them, but they really are not as hardy as the Japanese ones. So I will start working on, you know, being familiar more with the engines and obviously I need to do that and school myself and educate how they run and work. And again, I have worked on them, as I mentioned earlier, um, a long time ago, <laughs> I have worked on cars. So um, yeah, but I will be working on that. They did show me how to take the doghouse off and put that back on, how to get to my air filter. So um, I, did, I did see that part of it. So that was cool that they took the time to show me um, how to do, you know, get the doghouse off. Uh, the other thing I do want to, again, remind everybody that my channel is about helping uh, women, especially women or anybody with disabilities, to encourage them that you can still get out there, travel, have a life. Uh, we don't have to give in to our disabilities. They don't define us, okay? So that is what my channel has been about, is to be an inspiration. I, I, I will never turn it into an e-begging channel, never. Um, now I have nothing against people monetizing their channel um, so that mine is not, uh, but uh, I, I have friends that are monetized and I have not a problem with that because the way it works is you're really buddy, you're, it's a buddy system. Everybody advertises somewhat in life. That's how they promote um, their products is advertising. All you're doing is budding up with YouTube and the people that are paying to advertise and all actually they are are they are paying uh, for you to use your channel basically so it's a win-win you're really piggybacking or helping you know these people that are advertising and that I am all for that that's it all makes everything move you know in our in our country and remember people do need to get out there and you know familiarize ourselves with things that are out there to purchase or to buy or to you know and all it is is just advertisement you're just helping them to do that okay so I have no problem and I really encourage people to learn about YouTube monetizing the advertisements how it works okay I had my own dog training business for a while. I had to advertise. If you don't advertise, you don't get business. You don't get business, you're not self-sufficient. And remember, I'm all for people uh, being self-sufficient, you know, being able to support themselves, take care of themselves, or run a business, you know. I'm highly for that. So, but you gotta advertise. You gotta get yourself out there, your name out there, your product out there, whatever it is. So, um, yeah, so keep that in mind. I don't wanna, I think I've really got on a lot of subjects today, but, um, but yeah, so anyways, that's kind of where I'm coming from. So, um, yeah, so other than that, um, um, I will be releasing more videos as I'm coming out from Oregon, and I'll be hopefully getting some videos of this event I'm going to um, with people that are comfortable with me filming. And uh, other than that, I love you all, and I will see you all in the next video and keep you updated on the van. Thank you again, everybody, too, for your comments but I'm trying to get to the coast now, so I can't answer the comments, and there were so many and so much help. So again, love you all. I appreciate all the comments and the help. See you in the next video.